My name is Melinda Wayne and this is my story. Not to brag but I was the smartest and the most popular girl in my class. I sometimes hated all the attention I got but most of the time I enjoyed it. I loved my school, but unfortunately I had to leave it. My dad accepted a job in another city and we all had to move. Eventually I had to join another school, which was very different from my former school. The teachers were stricter here and the syllabus was tougher. I was in grade 6 when I joined. It was horrible in the start. The popular girls in my class were so mean to everyone. I knew it would be very hard for me to take my place at the top here. I struggled but being an extrovert helped, I was soon able to make many friends and excelled in class too. Long after another kid joined my class. His name was Aaron. He was quiet and shy, a complete opposite of me. I knew what he would be going through so I wanted to befriend him. The pressure to fit in class can be a lot and I just wanted to help him. I don't know why but I just felt this instant connection with him soon after, we became really good friends. If dumb but cute had a face that would be the perfect definition of Aaron and weirdly I adored him for his dumbness. He was literally the nicest person I knew. We both developed feelings for each other but kept it to ourselves. We shared this unspoken bond of love. I could tell that he felt jealous when guys approached me so I made sure to reject everyone just so that he wouldn't feel uncomfortable. Time passed and we grew fonder of each other. However, the problem started when we had to apply for universities. It was my lifelong dream to study medicine and he didn't have a clear goal in mind. He just kept applying wherever I applied. It was bothering me now. We weren't kids, he had to take his life seriously. We had serious discussions about our future, but it always ended with us arguing. Soon after he started distancing himself from me. I tried fixing it but he would just further push me away. He applied for a random university abroad and got in. I however got in one of the best universities for medical. I called him, I really wanted us to work. I was willing to continue our long distance relationship. I knew we had problems but I was sure that our love for each other would overcome any obstacle in our life, but he had just given up. I think that it is time for us to end our relationship. You never wanted me to go to any of the top universities with you. I feel like you are holding me back. What do you mean? I just want you to follow your passion and do what you think is right for you. How could he have misunderstood me? I was pushing him to become the best version of himself but he saw past it. My whole world was spiraling out of control. We hung up, I didn't know how to get over this, I just didn't see this coming. He was my friend, my partner for so long. It felt like losing a family member. The three months were tough, but I was pumped about joining my university. Becoming a doctor was my priority and I was going to focus on doing just that. Time flew by and I made a lot of friends, I even met a really sweet guy, Matthew, who related to my story. We started dating. We were so similar. He was motivated and knew exactly what he wanted. He was actually the guy I not only wanted but very much needed in my life. I needed someone I could rely on as much as they rely on me. We both fell in love. Sometime later, I received a text from Aaron. He told me that he missed me and wanted to get back together. He needed someone to help him with his life. I felt bad for him but I didn't have any feelings for him. I actually wanted to help him, but I didn't allow myself to fall back into this toxic relationship. I apologized and politely declined. I am not sure where my life will take me. People change, probably sooner or later Matthew will change too but now I am at a place where I am clear about my priorities. Before, I was making the mistake of fixing somebody, I have come to a realization that I don't need a project that I could fix. I am not a rehabilitation center for anyone. My number one priority is myself and I will continue to work on myself every day.